out that door. You saw that moon uh, beaming down on the lake there in Tahoe. It's a quiet, calm morning start. You can expect we will just see those clouds around through the morning. And I think that once we get beyond about the nine o'clock hours when we could start to see a couple of raindrops move into the valley and the wind is also going to stay fairly calm through much of the mid morning. But beyond that, in the afternoon, that's when things do start to ramp up with those southeasterly winds 10 to 25 miles an hour. It's going to be raining and it's going to be a steady rainfall that will continue and persist as we head through the overnight tonight and into tomorrow. So future cast shows you exactly more on the timing of this. So this is nine o'clock this morning. We'll have some rain around Lakeport down and through Santa Rosa, and it's just beginning to rain in the Bay Area spots at that point. Still again, we're waiting on that rainfall till about lunchtime in the greater Sacramento area. And then look at this one o'clock in the afternoon. The rain is coming down and it's a nice steady solid rainfall all across our viewing area. Now the snowfall, it's going to start out around 4000 feet, but it could be going higher than that as we go into the afternoon as that warm air starts to evict in and on shore. This is six o'clock in the evening. If that's your drive home from work or if you have a friend or a loved one that is driving around at that time, that rain's really coming down at a good moderate to heavy intensity, and that's going to persist through the overnight tonight where those snow levels are going to again be mainly above six to seven thousand feet on into the evening ahead. Here's six o'clock tomorrow morning. We are starting to see some of the rain ease up a little bit around Sacramento, but it's still really coming down in areas like Stockton, Modesto and into the foothills. Once the really the rain starts in the foothills, it's basically not going to let up as we go through today and even into the daytime tomorrow. Now by Friday, here's the afternoon queued up. Couple of showers, maybe a thunderstorm possible, but uh, the intensity of the rainfall is really going to start to subside as we go through a latter portion of Friday and into the evening. In terms of wind, it's going to get gusty out there as well. This is three o'clock. Those winds start to gust up to 30 here in Stockton, closer to 35 in the foothills. So places like Amador County, Calaveras County could expect expect winds gusting 40 to closer to 50 miles an hour. The winds are only going to increase in intensity as we go closer to uh, eight, nine o'clock tonight. And from 9 p.m. till about midnight, that's when I expect some of our strongest winds to really unfold across the valley and into the foothills. Now, rainfall projections will be in the range here of Sacramento, about an inch and a half to two inches between Thursday and into Friday, two inches around Stockton, three to six inches possible there in through Placerville. So yes, that rain on top of the snow that we've had at the lower elevations during the week could be problematic, especially causing some rapid rises on the rivers, streams and creeks. We're still looking at a windy start to your Friday with the rain and the wind eventually easing up for the area throughout the afternoon Friday. Now the weekend guys again, you're seeing a lot of those rain icons.